So if you were to pick a story of your favorite farm that you've ever sold, what what happened? What was the story? How did that, what came out of that? Man, one farm that was the favorite story. I mean, I got a bunch of crazy stories, family stories, you name it, but the one farm sale that's gotta be the coolest was one of the first farms I sold in the state of Iowa. Yeah, um, this family owned this piece of land that had been listed uh, for a couple of years with uh, a real estate company that that just wasn't getting them any offers, wasn't getting them any, any traction on that property. Their listing had expired and they had it listed for, I think, $799. Uh, 799,000 and um, we told them we should sell your property at auction and they said you're you're why would we sell at auction and I said because your property is going to be treated like fine art not like a distressed property we want to sell this like a piece of fine art at an auction because it's that special and they said well I don't think anybody has seen it as too special because we've had it for sale and we haven't had any offers and I don't even know if anyone's looked at it and I said we need to split the farm into two tracks your tillable buyer is going to want this high quality bottom ground. Your hunting land buyer is going to want this uh, hunting land up on the hill. You've got a beautiful cabin site here, beautiful shop site, uh, older building. There's some harvestable timber. We'll put up trail cameras. We'll get pictures of ducks flying into the pond. Uh, we'll get an auction uh, that we'll market out here for 60 days. Get people that are interested from across the county and across the country all competing at once. And we sold that farm about 70 days later for just over $1.4 million. And I asked the second in line bidder, who was a local guy, where did you, why did you want to buy this farm when you could have bought it for less previously? And he said, I just never saw the value in it until you got so many other people interested in the farm. And it changed the change the seller's financial future for that family's trajectory for a long time in the future. And it was uh, just a wonderful, wonderful elderly lady that was a seller. Her children, who were the kids in their in their 70s, were just so happy with the result and everything that High Point had done different than their previous real estate company. And uh, it, was, it was just awesome. And uh, if I could do that every day, it'd be my favorite one every day. That's got to be the best.